you hear that? You, it, it's the cicadas, Ugh. right? Yeah, they're Ugh. buzzing. I know, the mosquitoes, they're biting. And now, caterpillars. And we're not talking about the cute, fuzzy little guys. No, have you seen them climbing up the walls, crawling on the streets? They're probably uh, in your garden, ruining all <laughs> your hard work? No, Patrick Hay is joining us live right now with more on these little critters. And Patrick, were you the type who was playing with bugs when you were a kid? Yeah, I'm from Yuma, so I'm used to maybe like desert animals, some lizards, some rats here and there. Never really bug bugs quite like these, but if you check it out, you can see, you know, these are pretty big caterpillars and these are called white line sphinx moths. That's what they're ultimately going to turn into. Now, yesterday we started receiving dozens of text messages, pictures, images of these guys from different parts of the valley. And some people were trying to pick them up, others were trying to stay away. My initial reaction is, here they come again. Um, it's every couple of years that they come down the hill, and they're just little ugly creatures that I don't like seeing in the area. They were coming down the street, so I thought they might be up on the, on the mountain, so I went up there, and I did see, seemed like a, a nest of them or something. Not a nest, really, but uh, a bunch of them were coming out from under the rocks. And um, so... Since then, we've just been cleaning them up, trying to keep them out of the backyard. Yeah, a couple neighbors were trying their best to keep the bugs out of the garden, and others were trying to keep them from falling into the pool. Viewers also sent us video of them taking over the streets or crawling up walls. They definitely had some questions like, where did they come from and what are they doing? So we talked to an expert at Butterfly Wonderland, and he says these are known as the white line sphinx moss. They're native to Arizona, and they prefer to live around mountains when they're in their caterpillar stage like right now, but they will leave the mountains during wet monsoon years to find a new home, which is what we're seeing now, and they're going to turn into that now let me pull up a picture on my phone just to give you guys an idea of what they'll look like. You can tell they're going to have those pink marks on their wings and this could happen in somewhere between the next two to three weeks. So we're seeing caterpillars now but could see moths in the near future. So Patrick Hayes, ABC 15, Arizona. Well, if you don't know now you know for sure. <laughs>